This is my first cast painting. We start with a simple feature, something small and something easy to help with the transition from drawing into painting. And our plaster casts of the features are all plaster casts from Michelangelo's sculpture of David, which I think is pretty cool. The first paintings that we do are in grisaille, which means monochrome or gray painting. And we use three colors for that. So we have ivory black, and this one is by Rembrandt. We have flake white by Williamsburg, and then raw umber by Utrecht. Value is probably the most important thing if you want to make a good painting. And that's where we spent at least two years just drawing, just working with charcoal. Because charcoal, that's all you can, that's all you can work with is value because you don't have anything to mess with temperature or color. It's just solely working on value. So then when we get into painting, we want to add another element into that. Because hopefully by this point you have a really good handle on value. So if we were just using the black and white, that would just be value, but we add the raw umber because then we get to play and learn about temperature. So the ivory black is really, really cold. And on a limited palette, you can even make blue by mixing white into black, which I think is really cool. So if you want to cool down any of your temperatures, you mix some black into that. And then the raw umber is comparatively really warm, so if you want to warm up any of your mixtures, you just add raw umber. So in my cast painting, I use black and a little bit of white in the background, and primarily in the actual cast part of the painting, it's um, just raw umber and white. So you can see that the background is pretty cold and compared to the really warm cast in the center. And when I was working on this painting, I actually didn't have this tube of paint yet. I had a small tube of the raw umber by Williamsburg. And that one, compared to this one, the Williamsburg one is pretty green and so pretty cold. This one is really warm and really red. So if you're doing a grisaille painting and you really want to explore temperatures and have a really wide range of temperatures that you can play around with, I would definitely get the Utrecht one because you're just going to have a greater difference, something really warm to something really cold. And this is a picture of my setup. You can see my painting on the right. I have um, taped up cardboard and black foam core up that is controlling the light that's actually hitting the cast. And then we do a charcoal transfer drawing. We transfer that onto the canvas. And then the first layer is a wash, which is just black and raw umber mixed together. And then you use the full grisaille palette to finish your painting. 